We minimize and mitigate the harmful effects of the EMF pollution and radiation that our cell phones are putting off. Well, we should be clear that most things on the market today, the little pendants, little gadgets, little beads and mantras and necklaces, don't really do anything. They don't really work. They don't really work in a way that's actually measurable or tangible and is not really backed by anything that legitimate. So what we're going to do in this video is look at things that actually are backed up by things that are legitimate, things that actually do make sense. <laughs> so case in point is our first case in point, which is this case that's really the whole point of the video, which is right here. Now again, I should point out a couple important things before we get going. First is everything we talk about, links below the video, click those, learn more about them, get the things we're talking about. Number two, you'll see this is an iPhone 4S. This case and everything we talk about is also available for all other Apple devices, different forms of tablets, and Android phones, and Blackberries. So just get that out of the way because you're going to be sitting there thinking, oh, I don't care about iPhone. Okay, well, it's for other things too. So here we go. We have the iPhone 4S and we have this case, which is called Palm. The model I have here is the rugged model. Now I get that I have the rugged model because it offers the most protection for your phone, the most protection for you. Now, whole point of the video, protecting ourselves from, from radiation pollution. What makes this case cool is that it can protect us up to 92% from the radiation that our phone is putting off. And I'm not just making that up, I'm not just saying that because they said it on their website. The, the case and the research done by this company has actually been done in FCC approved labs it's been tested by independent parties, it's been backed up, it's been verified. It's actually legit and it actually works. Pretty cool stuff, kind of revolutionary for this niche or this industry. <laughs> so not only does it help to protect us up to 92% from the radiation from our phone, but also it boosts battery life and boosts our signal and keeps our phone safe. And most importantly, it doesn't look stupid. You can see it's a pretty sleek, pretty slim case, it just literally fits right on the phone. Whereas most cell phone cases today look pretty dumb or they don't really offer much protection. Meaning they're really big and bulky and they keep your phone safe or they're really small and chintzy and don't really do much for protection. So this phone, or this case, I like it because it doesn't look stupid and I've dropped this phone plenty of times and it's literally still brand new. And for the case they've done tests upwards of like 8 feet and the phone still comes out just fine. Now remember they have it for Apple devices, Android, Blackberry, and other tablets. So definitely important thing to look at for protecting yourself for up to 92% from the radiation, boosting battery life, and improving signal, and looking cool. So that's the first and the most important aspect, which is the case. Number two is the counterpart, which is this nifty little headset here which this headset basically is different because, because of the way it's designed, it doesn't just transfer all the EMF from your phone up into your ear, like pretty much all other headsets and little Bluetooth thingies and all that. People think, oh, I'm, I'm using I'm hands-free, I'm using Bluetooth, I'm using a headset. Well, those things are all conductive and just pulling the EMF just right up to your ears. Whereas this uses a different technology that doesn't conduct, so it doesn't just send it straight up to your brain. And the sound quality is still great, still crystal clear, you can still hear other people perfectly, they can still hear you perfectly, and it's pretty easy to use. And I think these are maybe 30 bucks each. Now, what I will say is that they work really, really well. <laughs> also, what I'll say is that they're very delicate, so be gentle with them. Because I've had a few pairs and I've broken them. Some of them were definitely my fault because I would you know, plug it into my phone and then wrap my head, the headset wires around the phone and then just like put it in my bag. So eventually that stressed the connection for the headphone jack and that eventually broke. So yeah, it was definitely my fault. But I realize now these are, these are delicate devices and they do actually work. So I treat them with a little more respect and I don't just wad up my headphones and throw them around like I used to. Just a little caveat, a little tip for me who's gone through three or four or maybe more different pairs of the, those headsets. And again, you can see links below for both of these items below the video. You can click those and learn more. Also for the case, 
you'll see there where there's a coupon code where you can get free shipping on your first order for checking out the Pong research or the Pong cases, which I highly, highly recommend. Now also, last common sense point is to just basically keep your phone away from your body as much as you can. So what I like to do is, number one, have my case, number two, have my headset, plug it in if I'm gonna talk on the phone, have my headset, set the phone you know, on the table or far away from me as really as I can comfortably. So the phone's away from me and I have this little buffer of distance because the radiation decreases exponentially over distance. So the further you have it away from you, the better it is. Also, if I'm driving, basically just have this in the passenger seat and then have the headset on. I'm hands-free, safe, paying attention, and I'm not getting blasted with EMF. So really easy, simple ways to use both of these technologies and really minimize and mitigate the effects of the cell phone radiation and pollution. So again, check out the links below the video.